Hello, so this is quite a clever video suggestion by Hype, and he's done one of these on his own channel, so I definitely recommend you check that out. I'll try and remember to put the link in the video. So what we're going to do today, <coughs> assuming I can get all the scales and everything working properly, is um, weigh two different gas masks, then reset the weights for them, and then see how good the fluid um, drainage is from either of the masks. Now, because I don't have the exhale valve cover for the C4, uh, the Canadian C4 on the right, I'm just going to use this CT12 without its cover on, so um, it's a bit more fair for the CT12, although I think the C4 is going to do better in this test because of the position of the XL valve. So basically what we're going to test is see, if you've got water in your mask, say through various reasons, the most obvious one being if you sweat a lot where you've got a mask on if you're doing physical exercise, or if you've, you know, been vomiting in your mask or, you know, your eyes have been sort of teared up because you had tear gas exposure before you got your mask on, you know, all that sort of stuff. Um, obviously a good mask drains water more than a bad mask in the sense that you always want a mask where if fluid gets into the mask and you can't take the mask off that, that as much as that fluid would drain as possible. So for the example of vomit um, you obviously want a mask where if you were sick inside your mask you want a mask where as much of that vomit is going to be out of the mask as quickly as possible rather than sloshing around inside hitting you in the face. So let me explain how the test is going to be done. Um, let's try actually out that little cover on. So what we're going to do is try and weigh one of these masks as best we can. So there we go. So let's put the CT12 if it will balance on there. Again, this is going to be the difficult bit, getting the actual balance on little scales like this. I think that's where I'm going to struggle with this sort of video because nearly all of these... Um, sort of accurate kitchen scales are too small and if I get my bigger scales out they're not going to um so let's just try that again so we're going to um tear it with that on there okay let's see if this mask is going to sit in there okay so that's I'm gonna have to use that it's not going to be completely accurate so you can see anyway that this mask is 447.25 grams with the little tray although the tray's been teared so we'll tear it again there we go so what we're going to do now is get the mask Turn the tap on, fill the mask up with water as much as possible. Now obviously the straps are going to retain some water and keep damp, but that's just what it is. So you can see the water leaking out the mask there, turn the tap off. So we'll give it a moment so you can see, obviously if you had the mask on the water would be spewing out a bit, but it's still dripping a little bit. So what we're going to do now, because obviously if you had your mask on your head you could look around a bit to try and get as much water to drain, although it's not going to drain out the back. So now that's drained, let's now see what the weight is on the scale. And there we go, we can see that this mask still weighs 100 grams. So what we're going to do now is, so that's a pretty easy number, 100.33 for the um, CT12. Let's take the CT12 off. It's going to drip a bit on there, but that's fine. So now let's turn this on and off. So as long as I tear it, if there's any water in there, it doesn't matter. So let's turn this on and off, and it should go to zero. Yep, there we go. So let's now get the um, Canadian C4. Hopefully that will sit upright in there. Yeah, there we go. So that's coming up as 464 grams. We'll tear it. So right, now that's zero grams. We'll grab this mask again. Take it over to the sink. And again, soak it full of water. Right. So mask upright, you can see a load of water coming out that exhale valve there. And I said, I expect this mask to do better just because of the position of the exhale valve. It's lower on the mask than it is on the CT12, which means that gravity-wise, it drains better. Not on all masks, depending on how the inside of the mask sort of oral nasal cup is set up. But okay, so now let's see how this one does. If I can get it to balance on there. Okay. Oh, is that only 10.8 grams? Yeah, let me just change the position of this in case that's, that's but yeah only 26 so yes this is done much better than the ct12 but as expected and you can see on the surface there it's because the ct12 if it has an exhale valve that's where your mouth is it's not as efficient as one where your chin is so the canadian c4 wins on this test which didn't surprise me now obviously on these if you're doing it with the strap on and they're um fabric straps like on both of these masks the mask that absorbs more water into the fabric straps is also probably going to um you know affect the test but you know it was the result i expected on this the canadian c4 did better primarily because its drainage valve or the xl valve is 
lower down than the one on the CT12 and the FM12, and the S10 for that matter, so therefore, you know, water just drains with gravity. So it's about a 75% reduction in weight on this one, as well as, you know, fluids in the mask.